myself Ayushi Verma. I come from India, from Madhya Pradesh, and I've done my bachelor's in electronics and communication. And right now in Germany, studying a master's in nanoelectronic system from TU Dresden. Like nanoelectronics is a new uh, new technology, and I. It, like studying in Germany is like coming, uh, getting into the knowledge in the, in the field of various technologies with the help of this subject. And like in my course, there are four semesters. In the first semester, we study subjects like nanomaterials, semiconductor technology, there is RoboLab and uh, fundamentals of estimation and detection. And like these subjects help the student to get into the basic, uh, basic knowledge of the nanoelectronic system. And then coming on the second semester, then we have three fields in that Tec uh, technical design, applications, and technology. So the students now have to decide like in which field they want to go and like which field they would further like to do master thesis and project work. So in this second semester, one has to decide that. And in the third semester, students have to take up the project work. Okay. And there is one one compulsory subject. And and if they are uh, struggling with the electives, so then they can also take elective subjects. Okay. And in the fourth semester, we have master thesis. Like in the robot lab, we have uh, we have we have to make robot working robot. This was of Lego. The equipment is a basic hardware that are provided by the university itself. And like we have to do the programming in Python. And then on the final step, we have to like uh, submit the final working model. It has four assignments, like three assignments we have to submit in the written and fourth assignment was the working model, so okay. it was very good. Like one has to be very much interviewed and like very much keen in getting to student jobs, like one should apply to several of the professors and, out, and outside the companies also. Yeah. Uh, my interest was to working under one of the professors in, in Nanda Research. Okay. So I uh, gave my, which is submitted my resume and then finally I got an interview call. Okay. Then I gave my interview and finally I cleared it up. So. It doesn't make a much difference because okay. I've experienced that one of my uh, one of my classmates who has done who has two years work experience and he's working outside the company in Dresden. Yeah. But at the same time, there are some students who have the experience in uh, in companies in companies back in India, but still they are struggling with get, with getting their students job right now. So one should tap the opportunities at the right time. And I uh, like uh, one of my friend had hand got fractured, so we went to the hospital, and then uh, they they were quite helpful. And then the operations and the amount of money which would have taken a large amount in India, but here it was very less because of the health insurance facility. So because of that, uh, as a student, so we were charged very less, and it was quite helpful. Like, uh, with the help of uh, Schengen visa, students are free to com commute to different countries. And, like I was, uh, I want to uh, take to public and Austria. Like it was a very good experience. And like after studying for six months, yeah, yeah. like uh, one like student needs break, and I I would prefer like going and exploring new things, learning new languages, getting to know about the nationalities and culture. Yeah. It's very good. Uh, if he is able to get some prior internship training, and he should, uh, one should uh, have a brush up about all the subjects and courses and get something prior knowledge. And if possible, one should learn language beforehand, little bit, yeah. if possible. It would be very much helpful. For further details about studying in Germany, like, share, subscribe.